Hello, this is Kyrasis, and in this Blood Death Knight analysis video, we are going to talk about the bugs currently affecting Shackle the Unworthy, which have gained a lot more visibility since 9.1.5 was released and allowed for easier covenant swapping. While I normally focus on Blood Death Knight specific content, everything I talk about here is also applicable to Unholy and Frost Death Knights. This video will review the normal behavior of Shackle the Unworthy and Kyrian Legendary Final Sentence before talking about the bugs associated with Shackle the Unworthy, which mostly have to do with Shackle spreading from multi-procs and something I'm going to call rebound spreading. There are a few parts of Shackle the Unworthy's normal behavior we want to keep in mind before talking about the bugs associated with it. First, Shackle the Unworthy is a dot effect that instantly ticks for damage when it is applied. Second, when the dot effect spreads to a nearby unit, it should be spreading at the current duration of the existing dot effect. Third, the dot can't normally spread to enemies that already have the dot themselves. The Kyrian Legendary Final Sentence is going to be closely tied to Shackle the Unworthy bugs, since it gives players benefits whenever Shackle the Unworthy spreads to a new unit. A 3% stacking damage buff and a free rune per spread is pretty nice but normally we can't benefit from this effect too often unless we are fighting a high number of enemies. Now that we've gone over the normal behavior of Shackle the Unworthy and Final Sentence, let's start talking about the Shackle the Unworthy bugs, beginning with multiproc spreading. When you hit multiple targets that are affected by Shackle the Unworthy with a single rune spending ability, such as Heart Strike, the spread effect procs for every single target you hit. However, the game tries to apply all of these dot applications to the same unaffected target, which causes some unexpected behavior. First, since Shackle the Unworthy instantly ticks once on application, this initial dot tick is duplicated for each proc you trigger on a single rune spending ability. Second, the duration of the resulting multi-proc spread will be greater than the original dot duration. At the start of 9.1.5, multiprocs resulted in an increase in duration of 3 seconds per additional proc you had on a single rune spender, allowing Death Knights to infinitely juggle Shackle the Unworthy on large groups of enemies. This worked well for Frost Death Knights in particular, since they have access to rune spenders that don't have cooldowns and don't have target caps. But, after a hot fix, the duration is now only rounded up to the nearest full dot tick with two or more procs on a single attack, which means the dot duration is now only increased by an average of one second or less depending on your haste levels. Third, Final Sentence will produce an additional damage buff stack and regenerate an additional rune for each individual proc that occurs on a single rune spending ability even if the dot ultimately only spreads to a single target. The implications of this are as follows. First, we can increase the proc potential of Final Sentence a lot more than normal. If we are facing four enemies, we'd normally only be able to proc Final Sentence three times. But with multi-proc spreading, we have the potential to double the amount of Final Sentence procs. By following up our initial spread with a double proc spread to the third target, and afterwards a triple proc spread to the fourth target. Additionally, these extra procs are going to slightly increase your overall Shackle the Unworthy damage, even if you aren't using the Kyrian Legendary. With the extra initial dot ticks from the multi procs and the small increases to dot duration that happen as a result. Granted, speaking as a Blood Death Knight, our Heart Strike Cleave has limitations and the need to periodically Mara Rend makes it difficult to fully benefit from this bug. Now that we've gone over multi-proc spreading, we're going to talk about something I've been calling Rebound Spreading. Rebound spreading occurs when certain types of invulnerable units are in the potential dot spread area. These types of targets appear to confuse Shackle the Unworthy's spread behavior, for whatever reason. 
While they are in the area, the game will always think there's a non-debuffed target in the area that you should be able to spread Shackle the Unworthy to. But the game isn't able to successfully pick a target to direct all the spread procs to. As such, all procs are instead redirected to your current target, even if your current target already has the dot effect on them. All of the previously explained multi-proc behavior still applies while this is happening, and single spread procs that refresh an existing dot cause the same effects as multi-proc spreads, causing an extra initial dot tick, rounding up the dot duration by around a second or less, and triggering a final sentence proc. There are three types of units I'm currently aware of that can cause rebound spreading to occur though there are more likely other sources that I am not currently aware of. First, there are several outdoor quest doodads that cause this behavior, such as inactive corpses on the ground and interactable quest objects. Granted, these aren't too important since no one really cares all that much about world content. Second, the orbs portal guardians drop in Theater of Pain also cause rebound spreading to occur though it's kind of a pain to take one around with you for long periods of time. Third is the biggest known offender, which is a toy from Legion called the Enchanted Stone Whistle, which drops a stone-burned figurine on the ground for a one-minute duration, while the toy itself has a one-minute cooldown. So, as long as you can stay within range of the dropped figurine, you can trigger this effect 100% of the time with this toy alone. The first implication of rebound spreading is that it can greatly increase the power of the Kyrian legendary final sentence, since we can now infinitely trigger the effect while a Shackle the Unworthy dot is active, at least if we are using the Enchanted Stone Whistle. Second, and regardless of whether or not we are using the Kyrian legendary, all of these extra initial dot ticks and increases to the dot duration itself can significantly increase our Shackle the Unworthy damage potential, especially on single targets where we wouldn't normally be able to proc any Shackle spreads at all. Granted, the Enchanted Stone Whistle is needed for most purposeful applications. Natural dot spreading is also more annoying to perform while the toy is down, since you need to individually target any additional spread targets while cleaving a debuffed enemy. And the summoned unit from the Enchanted Stone Whistle is stationary, so that needs to be taken into account when using this form of Shackle the Unworthy spreading. In conclusion, this video reviewed the normal behavior for Shackle the Unworthy and the Kyrian Legendary Final Sentence. We talked about what happens when we trigger multiple spread procs at the same time. We talked about how spreading behavior can be changed, particularly with the Enchanted Stone Whistle toy from Legion. And we talked about how all of these bugs can significantly increase the effectiveness of Shackle the Unworthy and the Kyrian Legendary Final Sentence. If you have any questions, if there are any additional topics you would like to see in the future, or if you have any opinions of your own about the Kyrian bugs, leave a comment below or contact me through Discord. My information can be found in the video description below. In the meantime, good luck and have fun.